Good afternoon. Today is September 15, 2011. It's just uh, after 12.30. We're here in the Ashley Room to talk about a very important initiative that's uh, taking place in New Bedford. We have a lot of guests to uh, fill in uh, the details. Uh, Mass, in, Mass in Motion New Bedford is uh, going to be involved with a number of partners throughout the community, uh, including restaurants, and coming up with uh, healthy choices, not only for uh, menus at the restaurants, but also urging people uh, to adopt healthy food choices in their own homes. And what we're going to be doing today is announce a, a very ambitious program of working with restaurants to set up uh, menu items that uh, allow people to make choices to uh, get the most uh, delicious, nutritional food, but in a way that uh, keeps down fat, keeps down sodium, uh, enriched with all kinds of, uh, you know, uh, good things to eat, fiber-based type of uh, good foods, all the things that we know are very, very important for uh, good health, both, both uh, in present time, but also long-term good health, which is so important. Long-term good health uh, obviously supports quality of life. It also brings down uh, the cost for our entire society regarding uh, future health care type of problems. So it's a great way to ensure uh, a healthy, uh, long life, eating healthy. What you put in your body, obviously, is, is uh, very, very important to ensure uh, a, a you know, illness-free, long life. So what I'd like to do is first call on uh, Matt Morrissey, who's the uh, Executive Director of the New Bedford Economic Development uh, Council. He has uh, been working with a, a terrific team of individuals from our Board of Health and from St. Luke's Hospital, Coastline Elderly, and our restaurants to put together a program that is going to be easily uh, marked, identified, so when you go into a restaurant or when you're thinking about making choices in the food store, you'll be thinking about healthy choices. So I'd like to ask uh, Matt to come up, please. Thank you, Mayor Lang. Uh, it is my uh, pleasure to uh, represent the New Bedford Economic Development Council here today and to talk just for a moment about the important project that is the, the Healthy Dining Initiative. Uh, the New Bedford Economic Development Council is the city's economic development agency that uh, focuses its, its energy on uh, assisting businesses uh, in uh, building their uh, portfolio and new opportunities as well as attracting new businesses into the city. A very uh, clear growth area for the city uh, is the opportunities for people to enjoy food uh, and dining experiences. Uh, just in the downtown alone, we've had uh, a, a, a number of new restaurants open and a few expand in the city over the last seven years, and we are very excited uh, to support them. Uh, one initiative that can continue to build the base of those businesses and to attract uh, more customers into the doors is the Healthy Dining Initiative. Uh, you're going to hear about the importance of eating healthy, um, but uh, from our perspective, while that is critical, uh, we also know that people today are attracted to restaurants who offer uh, opportunities to have uh, something a little less, uh, as the mayor said, saturated uh, in fat, or opportunities to have uh, a salad rather than uh, fried food. Uh, it's something a little more healthy. From my perspective, personally, I have four kids, and when I go to a restaurant and there's a kid menu that's offered, and all you have on that menu are fried goods, uh, french fries, uh, chicken fingers, without any healthy options, it puts us as parents in a difficult position. So there are a number of restaurants that have uh, adopted the, the uh, very simple uh, uh, protocols that the Healthy Dining Initiative lays out and have, uh, and have as a result, been qualified. They receive a decal. They're now going to be part of a, a pretty extensive marketing opportunity to continue the, uh, the, the story about New Bedford's uh, growth in uh, uh, eating opportunities in the city, and then finally uh, to increase uh, businesses. So if there are any businesses, uh, any restaurants that are uh, watching this now, please call the New Bedford Economic Development Council directly uh, to uh, ask about the Healthy Dining Initiative, and we look forward to working with you through the process with our partners uh, to make sure that the process is as easy and as seamless as possible. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. I want to bring up uh, Dr. Patricia Andrade. She is a longest serving member of the Board of Health, Chair of the Board of Health, and I know she uh, focuses on our community uh, well-being uh, daily. And uh, Dr. Andrade, please, uh, I'm very happy to have you here today. Thank, Thank you. you. 
Thank you. Uh, we're, we're very excited about the um, initiative for healthy dining. It's actually the, one of the first steps in health and wellness for our community. It, this is a, um, an evolutionary process that we hope will go quickly in helping to establish, initiate, and maintain health and wellness in, in this community. And with the healthy, healthy dining initiative, at least giving people an um, opportunity to make better choices um, will help them at least with the eating part and in this society in this time frame when everybody is supersizing with very unhealthy things it's really exciting to know that there are restaurants in our community that are dedicated and willing to um, participate in this we um, we're excited about other parts of this initiative that we're working with the city this is a very collaborative process this whole mass and motion and, and establishing infrastructure for better activity as well is coming down the road, but this is a very exciting first step for, um, for this city and for the people within it. So, thank you. Thank you. Next up, I'd like to call our, you know, our director of our Board of Health, Marianne D'Souza. Uh, Marianne will also then introduce Dr. Pauline Hamill. They've both been uh, very, very involved in the Mass in Motion initiatives that we have going for not only health eating but also uh, recreational activities and just good choices in general. Good good choices for a healthy body and mind. So uh, Marianne, thanks for your work and take the podium. Thank you. Uh, I do want to thank the mayor. I want to uh, thank Matt Morrissey as well as Dr. Andrade and all of the people that are here today uh, for the work that we have done collaboratively in getting to where we are. There's a lot that's happened behind the scenes that was involved in developing uh, the decal that we're using for this initiative, uh, which we hope will carry that message not only at the entrances of businesses that participate, but perhaps be relayed to items on their menus to carry that message even further. Um, New Bedford is on the move is our slogan as well. Uh, this is our New Bedford, uh, the Healthy Dining New Bedford Initiative, and it is one of many things, as Mayor Lang indicated, we've been working on in conjunction with our uh, New Bedford Mass in Motion Initiative. We are excited about this because it's an important step in promoting a healthy community. Um, we have wonderful partners. Uh, I especially want to laud Kim Ferreira, who's worked very hard reaching out uh, on behalf of this particular project, meeting with the various restaurants owners and um, reviewing their menus and identifying whether or not they would be eligible to participate. So I think going forward we'll be seeing more people that will realize that they were eligible because there are still many other restaurants that may qualify but just haven't yet had the opportunity to pursue that and we look forward to working with them as well. At this point, what I would like to do is to invite Dr. Pauline Hamill, our Mass and Motion Coordinator, to come forward and relay some additional information. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mary Ann. I am really delighted today to um, be part of this launch of our Healthy Dining New Bedford initiative. Um, as the coordinator of New Bedford Mass in Motion, I, for those of you who don't know, uh, Mass in Motion is a response to a call to action by Governor Deval Patrick um, in, in an attempt to address some of the obesity issues that we're dealing with in our cities. Um, New Bedford Mass in Motion is uh, one of 14 cities in um, Massachusetts and uh, we have all received the leadership and wellness uh, municipal grants which have facilitated this uh, initiative. We've been working very, very hard over the last year and a half on, on this particular project. Um, what we are trying to do as part of Mass in Motion is to address through policy systems and environmental changes and approaches to the obesity uh, epidemic. Um, we are very, very pleased that these restaurants in our city are willing and, as mentioned, committed to um, addressing a lot of these issues um, by making some simple systems and policy changes in their own restaurants and uh, other establishments. Our theme is um, make the healthy choice the easy choice. And and um, by doing that, um, in order to do that, we have 
uh, done a lot of research. We have had a number of meetings with restaurant owners and managers, um, and we have come up with this wonderful initiative. Um, but I, I need to make sure that we thank, again, the mayor's office, uh, the health department, which, which sponsors Mass in Motion, um, the Board of Health, the South Coast Health System, specifically St. Luke's, since this is a new Bedford-centric uh, project. Um, also, Coastline Elderly Services and um, Boston University's Ad Labs, Ad Lab team, which put together this wonderful decal um, and this logo and our, our very colorful and vibrant brochure. Um, I think it's important to note that our goals are to reward the restaurants who participate um, by helping to promote them, to encourage our partners and other uh, city members to, uh, to uh, support and, and go to these restaurants, uh, to provide a healthy dining experience for our visitors as well as our residents, and to uh, attract more tourism to the area. Um, a lot of people are seeing healthy dining experiences as um, quite an attraction. Um, as we are trying to make our communities healthier across the country. Um, also, we will we hope that you will be seeing this decal as a designation on the menus where you, you will see healthier options. Um, we have today uh, 12 restaurants. We are very, very pleased to have 12 um, who have been approved and are officially um, Healthy Dining New Bedford uh, restaurants. And um, we do have others. I want to say we're close with a number of other restaurants, but they still have a few pieces of paper. Um, as you will see in the guidelines, um, you have to have a valid uh, health department um, permit, no violations, and also have it be a, a smoke-free workplace. Um, and we will talk a little bit more about the criteria for healthy dining as well. But the restaurants that cur currently are uh, official healthy dining New Bedford restaurants include Cafe Arpeggio, um, The Center Cafe, Churrascaria Novo Mundo, Cork Wine and Tapas, Destination Soups, which I might add was the first of our healthy dining restaurants, Freestone's City Grill, Ginger Grill, The Lebanese Kitchen, Paisans, Rose Alley, Waterfront Grill, and also St. Luke's Hospital in three uh, various venues within the hospital that offer healthy dining options. Um, we are, again, very, very pleased to have them as official uh, healthy dining restaurants. We hope that you will support them. We congratulate them for doing something that is really good, not only for the, the health of our city, but also for their own businesses. Um, we will promote these restaurants, and you will see future articles um, in the uh, newspaper. Uh, you will hear of them on radio and cable access. And um, we want to make sure you understand that we have several websites where you can learn more about healthy dining. Um, that includes the City of New Bedford website where um, applications are available, as well as the Health Department website. We do have a Facebook page, Healthy Dining New Bedford. We have a new email address, Healthy Dining New Bedford at newbedford-mass.gov. And our phone number for anyone who is interested in calling uh, on this is 508-991-6199, which is the health department main number. Our extension is 145. So on that note, I would like to um, again reiterate what Marianne had just mentioned and that our slogan for New Bedford Mass in Motion is New Bedford is on the move. And I think today we really demonstrated that it is. Um, I also would like to now introduce Kim Ferreira, who will talk a little bit more about the criteria for healthy dining. Pauline. Again, I want to thank um, all the restaurants who have devoted their time and um, taken a stance um, to let us know all the wonderful things that they've been doing. And that's a great part of the program is a lot of these restaurants have been doing these wonderful changes to improve health in the communities. And this is a great opportunity for us to let them shine and, and let the community be aware of some of these healthier options that they offer. And like uh, Marianne was saying, it's a very, very simple process. And I wanted to briefly go over how the restaurants got involved and how future restaurants who are interested can get involved. You simply have to download an application, which is available 
um, in the resources that Pauline mentioned. And in that application, it goes over the guidelines things that restaurants um, are gonna show through their menus, things that they're doing to offer healthier options. Whether it's um, off offering two additional sides besides a potato, um, allowing a substitution of a salad instead of french fries, having skim milk or 1% milk as the default, especially when it um, is prevalent for children's menus. Also, clearly designating any item that may be lower in fat or lower in calories. Also, things that may be in a smaller portion, you know, portion sizes have increased dramatically. So if you're offering smaller portion sizes, we're looking at that as well. And the last one is offering a have-to-go option. And this is something that, um, a lot of us do, but instead of having it after the meal, we're you know we're we're looking at having it already boxed up before, so we're not tempted to um, eat the rest of it, and you know trying to focus on portions. So those are very simple criteria, as well as utilizing um, local farmers and local resources, or um, trying to limit the processed foods and and getting more involved in completely homemade ingredients. Those are all things that you know we're getting involved in working with the restaurant to be a healthy dining, you Bedford approved restaurant. So I encourage restaurants who are following a lot of these ideas to definitely contact the websites and phone numbers so we can get you started. Beth Winthrop is the uh, chief dietitian at St. Luke's Hospital and uh, we're all very, very familiar with St. Luke's. We all know that uh, if in fact you have uh, uh, had an opportunity, a family member at St. Luke's you know, for great things, birth of a child or for, uh, you know, to get better after you're not well, you know that the, uh, uh, they give you a menu and the menu has uh, options for you. All the options are extremely healthy, I can guarantee you that, right Beth? Absolutely. And Beth, that's what Beth oversees. What she's trying to do though is see that we have that kind of a menu not only in our restaurants but also in our homes so that we uh, begin to uh, uh, eat in a way that complements exercise, complements making the right life choices. So Beth, you want to talk about that a little bit in St. Luke's efforts? We'd really appreciate it. Certainly. Thank you. Uh, we're very honored at St. Luke's Hospital to be on the list with all those under other wonderful restaurants. And uh, certainly our cafeteria is a place where you can get wholesome, healthy, delicious food at a reasonable price. Uh, we know we're doing a good job when we see the postman eating in our cafeteria because they know everywhere that's good to eat. Um, but from a uh, perspective of being a dietitian, uh, I am really happy to have a better food environment here in New Bedford where I've been privileged to work for the last 27 years. Uh, patients ask us all the time, where can I go out to eat? What can I do? I want to go to a restaurant but I'm really afraid. So it's great to be able to have this group of restaurants that we can feel very comfortable referring to, that we can work with patients on menus, that we have a logo that's got some commonality with different restaurants so that's extremely helpful to us and we tell our patients to become a regular uh, at restaurants that will really accommodate their special needs if they have diabetes or heart disease or um, high blood pressure anything like that so there's a big population out there that I think would probably eat in restaurants more if they could feel uh, safe and secure so we're very happy to be involved from the perspective of our three retail operations um, at St. Luke's as well as other South Coast hospitals and uh, also are very happy to um, be able to send some referrals to these restaurants who are making such uh, good, healthy choices. Thanks very much. Thank you, Beth, very much. Now, there are just a couple of other people that I want to mention in this. Uh, Commissioner Arbach has worked very closely with us on, uh, as Commissioner of the Department of Public Health, on a number of different initiatives, including the Mass in Motion. We hope to expand it. We hope to have our city involved in, uh, in exercise and different educational activities that will make sure that our children make the right choices, whether it ha happens to be uh, you know, life life altering choices, smoking, uh, substance abuse, th things things that uh, certainly we know are pitfall falls in in, uh, in America today, uh, as well as uh, working with them to open up more and more. Uh, public facilities for exercising, uh, walking, opening up, whether it's uh, outdoor facilities as well as indoor facilities. And then this whole, this whole issue about what we, uh, you know, what we make for dinner, what we have for breakfast, what we have for lunch. We're trying to permeate this healthy choice in our uh, school system. 
which is extremely important. There's no sense in going out to uh, Freestones or the Waterfront Grill or any of the other great restaurants that were mentioned and uh, having a healthy meal and then going back into the into uh, you know the uh, school cafeteria the next day and eating something that is not complementary to this program. So we're working very hard on that. I know the Mayor's Youth Council is working on different ideas on the schools and I'm, I'm sure we can all partner. Everyone in this room can bring uh, tremendous expertise regarding making sure our kids eat healthy in schools. Uh, the school committee has taken out sugary drinks out of the uh, out of the schools and also has made uh, specific policies on what you can bring in uh, to a school, not only based on health from the standpoint of uh, healthy, but also based on uh, the uh, uh, allergy issues that face uh, kids today. We weren't aware of when we were kids, but now more and more there are allergy issues. Well, I'm going to just go through real quick something that Kim had said, and then I just want to call Matt Morrissey up again, and then we'll open it up to uh, the restaurants, a discussion with the restaurants. But in order to be involved in this program, and it seems to me every restaurant in the city could and should be involved in this program, and I leave it to Kim to continue to reach out along with Matt to the restaurants, um, and this is not anti-French fry. If it was, I wouldn't be standing here today, I promise you. <laughs> but this is uh, uh, at, at least two sides of choices of fruits and or vegetables other than potatoes. Substitution of salad or vegetables for uh, fried potatoes, which, which, which it means cut back on, on fried foods, uh, French fries. Clearly designate low fat and low calorie menu items, which all of the restaurants have pledged to do. 1% low fat milk and or skim milk as a beverage when you're serving milk. There's no, whole milk is, is, uh, is a delicious treat, but the fact of the matter is that if you just uh, pull back to uh, uh, 1% and either rotate it in or switch your family to it, it took a uh, uh, gig a while to get us off of whole milk and put us into 1%. And I remember that uh, in the beginning the children would not eat, uh, drink the 1%, but after a while when they realized that if they didn't drink their milk, they were not leaving the table, they started drinking it, and it, it became a, uh, a big hit. They, stopped, they forgot about whole milk once they started with 1%. If you give them skim milk now, uh, they quite honestly will drink, will drink that as well, so that's very important. Smaller portion sizes is extremely important. And then the half meal to go, I do regularly. I, I bring home half my uh, meal regularly. It is a great way uh, to not only cut down on what you're eating, but also uh, you've got another meal when you get home, and the meal sizes now are such that really it's, it's the equivalent of a meal and a half anyhow. So this is all great stuff. And uh, we expect to work very closely with the state on a major initiative that the Board of Health will bring in, not only to bring these menu-type ideas to the home, uh, but also uh, throughout our school system. When you're shopping at home, the, the uh, fruit on the table here is the equivalent of a pill. You know, you say, gee, I just don't feel quite right today. You eat an apple, you get all the, uh, all the uh, fiber and all the different nutrients, all the different vitamins that you could if you took a pill. And it's, uh, it's a lot more, uh, it's better for your teeth, it's better for your entire digestive system to eat a piece of fruit than it is to eat a processed food. Uh, I'm not against baked goods in any way. Eat your baked goods, but just use some common sense. Uh, and let's keep you know, everybody in good shape. So uh, the reason I want to ask Matt Marcy to come up before we start this, I want Matt to bring the restaurants up, but I also want to say something. Matt, if you would, just come up for a minute, and you'll do the restaurants. We have, uh, in, uh, in about a month, we have the 55th anniversary of the opening of Moby Dick. At that time, there was a contest for everyone in the city. Man, the city was asked to grow a beard. Uh, Matt is going to be growing this beard through the Moby Dick uh, celebration that's taking place between the Z and the uh, and the Whaling Museum. My kids want to braid it. Oh. And then and then he is going to and then he is going to shave the beard uh, here for some charitable cause right here in City Hall. So I wanted to make uh, that known. Uh, but if you uh, if you're wondering, this is in celebration of the Moby Dick celebration. Anything now, for New Bedford, Mayor. Anything thank you. <laughs> now, if you bring the restaurants up with uh, people who have the background on this. So uh, may I ask uh, Joe, uh, representing Freestos, to come on up, and, and Kevin uh, with the Waterfront Grill. Why don't you guys both come up at the same time? Just talk for a few moments about what healthy dining is to you, why you decided to participate in the program, and what you're hoping to get out of it. Come on up. Uh, well, Freestones has been uh, part of this community for over 32 years, and it's a great, great chance for us to give back to the community in this way. Uh, we have been doing a, uh, an options menu with uh, vegetables and salads instead of potatoes for well over a year and a half now. And this, uh, 
this opportunity with the uh, healthy dining has given us a chance to even create an entire menu page uh, where we've broken down uh, everything into calorie counts and, um, and have a whole options page of stuff that's cooked without oils, uh, with lemon juice, with white wines. Uh, so this is, uh, this is actually a proud moment for our city and a proud moment for Freestones and we're very, very happy to be part of it. Uh, so thank you, Matt, and thank you to the city for uh, coming up with this program. It's wonderful. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kevin Santos from Waterfront Grill. Um, I was raised on a health, healthy diet and therefore uh, at the beginning of Waterfront Grill, I was very temperamental in, uh, even though I had an executive chef, on what I wanted on the menu. Uh, our menu at Waterfront Grill uh, right now and from the beginning consists of fresh fish, not frozen, not, no preservatives. We have uh, local produce that we use at Waterfront Grill. Uh, also, the sides, you can actually order your, your meal and we have a choice of uh, 12 dif uh, different sides. And on those sides, we have steamed broccoli, steamed spinach, and also we have brown rice. And for dessert, we have fresh fruit that we offer. And if you check our website, in the next 30 days, we have four additional items that are strictly vegetarian items. Uh, I think this is great for the city. Um, I, myself, I've been promoting a healthy diet, not only for myself, but my family, my friends. And I think that now that the city is, is implemental in this program, it's just great. Uh, the phrase everyone uses is, you know, healthy diet, healthy living. So I really thank the efforts of Mia Lang and the Board of Health and everyone that's involved in this. I think it's just great. Before we finish up, I do want to mention uh, someone who's not here today. Uh, she just couldn't be here uh, for this particular presentation, but she also worked very closely with Dr. Pauline Hamill and also along with Kim Ferreira in reaching out to the restaurants, and that's Angela Bannister. She did it as an internship project in conjunction with Rhode Island College. So again, we want to mention her. And also, uh, an aside that we'd like to mention as part of, as, as part of the support that we received for this project was this was done in part with funding through the Massachusetts um, initiative, the Mass in Motion initiative, with grateful support from South Coast Hospital Systems uh, in terms of community benefits. But also we received a small mini grant from the Greater New Bedford Allies for Health and Wellness, which actually helped to pay for the production of the decals at this time. So again, there's a lot of people that have partnered with us. We're excited about this opportunity. And again, I want to thank everyone for their support. Thank you very Two last things and I'll open it for questions. First, uh, uh, Waterfront Grill was featured on Billy Costa's TV Diner and got great reviews. And I know uh, the Phantom Gourmet was just at Freestones and, and uh, also got great reviews. So when I, when I say we have this tremendous restaurant industry, these are two of many great restaurants in the city and we want to get them all uh, in line with this program. It'll only enhance their, uh, their customer base. So we appreciate these pioneers and the other the other 10 that have joined with them. This is a very good thing. The other thing I want to tell you is that on uh, Thursdays, and today is Thursday, we just go right outside City Hall, uh, beginning around noon, you'll see the farmer's market. So we are trying to bring in local produce, and uh, Kevin was talking about that. Uh, I know Joe was talking about local produce and, and selling it in our restaurants, but we also want you to buy local produce and bring it to your home. So we will continue to uh, uh, have programs like that as well. Now, I'm going to ask everyone who spoke to come up if there are any questions and uh, open it up, uh, Annika and, and, uh, and Jim and Jim. So please, everybody come up and anybody have any questions? Ms. Ms. Ferrer, I had a question. Uh, has there been any pushback uh, from restaurants? Has there been any reluctance? And are there, uh, maybe from the restaurant owners themselves, I mean, is this an added cost for you in some way? And uh, uh, maybe, Mr. Costa, you could uh, take a crack at that one. But has there been any pushback? What, what's, what's been the reaction out there? The reaction so far has been um, very positive. Um, one of the, um, from uh, Freestones, yeah, yeah. he was a little reluctant because of the past and some of the things that he was trying to do in the past and not working. But I think we've come a long way from maybe the efforts in the 80s and early 90s. I think there's a much bigger push now with people being more conscious on the choices that they're making in the restaurants. So the other part of it is we were really trying to stress that 
there shouldn't be a huge um, increase in cost because a lot of these residents are already doing most of these things, and we're just trying to recognize them for those efforts. Just cost of actually, actually, there is no extra cost. There's actually no extra cost to the restaurant. It's actually taking, um, and I think you'll agree with me, right? Taking yes. what we already have and being more accurate and being more specific about what we're doing and making sure everybody knows, you know, how we're doing, how we're preparing. So maybe instead of, uh, you know, a tablespoon of uh, oil or olive oil that is going into this, maybe now it's just a teaspoon. And we're going to make sure it's always just a teaspoon, you know, because that's a difference of 44 calories or 125 calories. It's that easy, you know, to go overboard. So, uh, Kevin, yeah, I, I think uh, I, I would, in front of the microphone. Sure. Thank you. Um, at Waterfront, it was we didn't even, we didn't even change our menu because on the onset we've had a healthy menu. Um, so we haven't changed anything. Mm -hmm. And I would think someone like Freestones, and if they have fresh fish, uh, if you buy local produce, uh, local fresh fish, you're not gonna have any preservatives, it's not gonna be frozen, and it's, it's healthy right from the, from the onset. So, and as far as the, uh, the city, the process is, is very easy. I mean, I think we filled out the application in, in a matter of minutes, so. Times. And I was just wondering, you uh, sort of detailed the process for qualifying for this. Is there any process for sort of checking back with the restaurants? And it sounds like you guys are doing a great job anyway. But to see, to make sure that they're keeping up with these qualifications. We have discussed the evaluation process. We're still working on that, but we um, actually will have a planner on the Ad Lab team who is going to be doing some research for us as well. Um, so we definitely want to see if it's making a difference. We want to know. Um, Perhaps we would have a small survey that, that would be used in the restaurants or uh, also with the restaurant owners um, to see, in fact, is it making a difference um, in terms of numbers of customers, um, sales, and so on. So we're, we're looking at the health aspects of this initiative, but we are also very cognizant of the business aspects and bottom line. So we are going to be looking at that as part of an evaluation process. What about checking back in with the restaurants themselves, though, to make sure that they're continuing to we're, grow? we're always checking back with these restaurants. I think that this week, especially, they're very tired of our phone calls. Um, we, we really plan to, actually, we'd like to rotate meetings at the restaurants as well um, for, for the future and um, really get them more involved as we promote them for doing the right thing and healthy choices on their menus. I actually think that it's it's not that difficult for them to check because all they have to do is go online and see what everyone's offering on their menus. I'd just like to add one thing to what he's saying though and that is that um, recently one of us was at a restaurant um, and the server came up and actually said T on today's menu we have some healthy options which are and so they you know they may be on the menu but but right now we're trying to educate the public and raise awareness about how you can have um, alternatives to the food um, that that you would normally choose on a menu so to say these are healthy options would you like to try it um, again raises awareness and educates the public which is what we really want to do Jim, do you have any questions? I'm good. Okay, very good. Any further? No? All right, so this is, a, this is an extremely important initiative. We appreciate the restaurants. We also, though, uh, again, want to urge everyone that, that uh, I talked to uh, Beth a few minutes ago. We, we need, uh, we eat out, it's a great treat, uh, but we don't eat out every night, obviously. So to, to go to a restaurant, eat healthy, and then go home, and continue habits that are not healthy does not make sense. To send our kids to schools where we're not adhering to this does not make sense. So we will redouble our efforts. We'll be back with another press conference within the next month talking about what you can do uh, when, you're, when you're out shopping, how you can come up with some healthy, uh, healthy alternatives, and also what we're going to be doing to make sure that our schools uh, toe the line on this. And I know Dr. Andrew would be extremely uh, extremely interested in, in making sure that our school system begins to uh, serve healthy food. So, and, and by the way, it's got nothing to do with the New Bedford school system. I had to mention that. We got our, we got our uh, food through <laughs> federal programs. So when, when a young boy or girl is given a Pop-Tart for breakfast, it's not because here in New Bedford we decided that made some sense. Somebody in the federal government uh, thought that that was the four food groups or the five food groups, whatever. How many food groups are there? I'm not sure. French fries, cookies.
I know we got to get off that stuff, and we, and we will. So we're going to keep working on this. Restaurants are way in the lead on this. We got to do it in our homes, also in the schools. So thank you very much, everyone.